Okay, hello, Benji Abbott again. Uh, another video on uh, ballistics of polyurea and the concept that they are not bulletproof. So I have another slab of a polyurea system here, much like the one I shot originally uh, several months ago, except this one here has got about a thickness of just over one inch thick. So today I'm going to shoot with a variety of different cartridges. I'm going to start out with 25 ACP, then go to a 380, a 38 Special, a uh, 9 millimeter. Uh, go on up to the uh, 45 uh, Colt, 45 ACP, and then the uh, 44 Mag. That's going to be the pistol cartridges, and then I'll do another video later uh, and probably tag it to this one, which will do rifle and then shotgun. So let's see what, uh, what cartridges this one-inch thick slab of, poly of polyurea can stop. For those of you that may not be familiar with the term polyurea, we think of truck bed liners. So there's a large variety of different brands of truck bed lining materials out there and majority of those materials are made out of polyurea. That is the technology used for uh, the truck bed lining, uh, in, uh, lining industry as well as many other coating industries as well. Uh, so let's see what will uh, this slab of polyurea stop or not stop. So the handguns that I've selected to use is uh, these right here. We have a 25, a 38, 9 millimeter. We have a 30. Uh, we have a, two, a couple of 380s. I'm only going to shoot one of, of those. We have a 357. If I forgot to mention that one, we have the 45 Colt. Then we have two 44 mags. Now some of these I'm going to shoot only either cast or a jacketed round, and then. Uh, once I get the results of those, then we will move to the jacketed hollow points. And uh, probably the jacketed hollow points I'll use will be out of a 9mm 44 mag Desert, uh, Desert Eagle uh, and probably the 380 from the Ruger LCP2. Good little uh, backup carry gun, if you will. But uh, let's see what happens to our uh, polyurea slab. Uh, we will. Uh, See if we can stop them or see uh, which ones go straight through. Yep. So first up is our 25 ACP through a little uh, Ruger. Uh, this is not my carry gun, hence it does have pink handles. So uh, let's see what this one here will do for us. Okay. So looking at it, looks like we were successful and one inch thick slab of polyurea stopped a 25 ACP round. I would have thought it would have went through. Okay, well since the one inch thick slab stopped the 25, let's see what it does up against a 380 round. This is a jacketed uh, full metal jacket. Uh, fired from a Sig Sauer P238 and uh, again pink handle so not my carry gun. Okay we're hot let's we'll see what we can do. And looks like one inch thick of polyurea was not able to withstand the firepower of a 380 LFMJ. We see we have two holes inside of the uh, poster board, which shows that the projectiles went through the slab of polyurea and through the paper. Okay, so this one here is a Bursa uh, Thunder 9 in 9 millimeter. And uh, let's see if, uh, what it will do up against the one inch thick slab of polyurea. Okay, we'll go down and take a look at it. Okay, so as we can see here, the uh, nine millimeter, just as a 380, penetrated through the one inch thick slab of polyurea. So 
So we'll let's uh, see what the uh, next one will do, which will be 38 Special. Okay, so I have a Smith & Wesson 38. I believe this is a uh, four and a half inch barrel. I have, uh, don't remember what, uh, what grain, but they're cast. Cast projectiles and see what I can do here. This, this pistol I have not fired in a long time. So uh, again, when you don't fire one, you're not as accurate. Okay. Okay, so we can see here that the uh, 38 Special went through the one inch uh, thick slab of poly, uh, poly urea. Uh, looks like even uh, one of them here, actually both of them looks like they were tumbling when they left. Uh, keyhole pattern here. So, so the only one so far that's been stopped has been the 25 ACP. And uh, next up is going to be the 357. Okay, so here I have a, uh, Ruger, a Ruger Blackhawk in 357, and I'll be shooting uh, 125 grain uh, cast with a semi-jacketed projectile. And let's see what this one here will do up against the one inch thick slab of polyurea. Okay, so I actually missed my first shot. I missed the slab of poly urea. I was trying to stay down low where I'm not trying to uh, hit a, another area. So uh, my second hit, we hit about right there. And this here's our three, 357. And then the shot I missed actually hit the paper here on the right hand side and we won't count it. So again, 357. Uh, Easily went through the one inch thick slab of polyurea. So I did just shot the 357 and got to notice them before uh, when we turned off the camera that I got a hole up here. And the only thing we can think of is it was either a piece of the jacket from the one of the 357 uh, rounds or a piece of polyurea that come off the backside which there's not really much, but something penetrated the paper here. So we'll have to look back and see what the, what hit this paper. But I just put, so I put a question mark there because I'm not sure what made that hole. Okay, so here we have a uh, Parrot Ordnance Expert, full size 1911 and a 45 ACP. This is a 250, I'm sorry, 230 grain LPMJ. And uh, let's see how Mr. Polyurea handles a uh, fat boy. Okay, I've seen him shake, so must have hit him. Okay, so Mr. 45 ACP, we have a hole here and a hole here. CP 45. So again, no problem penetrating one inch thick slab of poly polyurea that people do say is bulletproof, but just showing right now the only projectile that's been stopped has been from the 25 ACP. So let's go up to the uh, next size, which would be 45 Colt. Okay, so this next shot will be from a Ruger Vaquero 45 Colt, four and a half inch barrel, and uh, we'll be shooting a 250 grain cast projectile. Let's see what we did. Okay. So we have our two 45 Colt. Some people call them loan Colt, but in reality, there never was a loan Colt. They were just 45 Colt. They are marked 45 LC though. But again, 
could not, the polyurea could not stop the 45 coat round. So let's step up to our 44 mag. Okay, so this next one is a uh, little squirrel gun. Uh, 44 mag, it says a uh, Ruger Super Black Hawk with a 10 and a half inch barrel. And I'll be shooting a 240 grain cast projectile from uh, this little uh, squirrel gun. And those were my hand loads. Okay, well, looky here. Their uh, 44 mag penetrated through the uh, slab of one inch polyurea pretty nicely, I would say. And we have a couple of tears up here, which has to be probably some uh, projectile coming out of the uh, poly polyurea could either be some of the cast material breaking up coming through the polyurea or it could be some of the polyurea that's coming along out of the slab itself so again we're going to put a little question mark here because it is something that's a uh, probably a uh, some sort of uh, fragmentation from the projectiles okay so our next one uh, we will we'll step up to the uh, hollow points, jacketed hollow points. So let's see how that they perform with this uh, thick slab of polyurea since they will expand more when they enter and let's see if the slab can stop any of those. I'm suspecting the 380 might have a little bit of a hard time getting through, but we'll find out. 